At a time when American politics were dominated by men, pioneering feminist Bella Abzug became a lawmaking force to be reckoned with. Born Bella Savitsky in the Bronx in 1920, the daughter of Russian Jewish immigrants, she grew to understand the challenges faced by many working people. In 1944, she married Martin Abzug with the understanding that she wouldn't have to choose between family and career. She graduated from Columbia University and became a lawyer, representing some of those falsely accused of communist activities during the infamous Red Scare. A passionate activist, she campaigned on behalf of the peace and anti-nuclear movements, all while raising two young girls. In 1970, aged 50, Abzug ran to represent New York City's Upper West Side in the House of Representatives. Her campaign slogan, This Woman's Place is in the House, House of Representatives, helped sweep her to victory. As a lawmaker, she was tenacious and unconventional. On her first day in office, she introduced a resolution demanding the withdrawal of U.S. forces from Vietnam. She also requested an assignment to the Armed Services Committee, but never received it. Nicknamed Battling Bella, she was often branded impatient, brash, and overbearing for her combative style, but she demanded to be taken seriously. During her three terms in office, Abzug introduced groundbreaking legislation to increase the rights of gay Americans, was crucial to the fight around the Equal Rights Amendment, and helped co-found the National Women's Political Caucus. She also worked to make the government more transparent to the public. She passed away in 1998 and is today remembered as a political pioneer and icon of the feminist movement. Why is it important for political leaders to fight for change against injustice? 